Tonight, Facebook fraud. A local woman thought she was talking to a long lost relative on social media, but she soon found out it was nothing more than a phony friend. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Amira David is taking a closer look at what experts say has become a breeding ground from cyber crime. Getting snow, how's your weather? It's a Facebook connection that began like any other. I got an, a messenger email asking me how I was. Tamara, a Waterford resident, believed she was making small talk with her ex-husband's sister. But after two months of chatting, the conversation turned to money. All of a sudden I get a reply back saying, I just applied for a grant and I got $50,000. The relative started giving tips on how to apply for a grant she claimed to receive herself and even directed her to speak with a seemingly legitimate attorney. It was an offer she would have normally ignored, but this time it was coming from somebody she thought she knew. I trusted my daughter's aunt so much that I didn't do the research. Without much thought, Tamara gave up her home address and other personal information. But what really surprised her is how close she came to forking over $500. They had to do a lot of research to really know what to ask me and how to push my button. It, you know, it wasn't financial, it was emotional. As a private investigator and cybersecurity expert, David Skippers knows just how it's done. He says cyber scammers often lean on sites like Ancestry.com. You build this large, what I'll say, social network map and then you start to go, OK, who am I going to go after next? And the possibilities are endless, from building fake accounts of people who are distantly connected to you to outright cloning somebody that already exists within your own network. They also copy your pictures, your profile pic. They put it into the new account. But experts say it's not only you that cyber criminals are after. Oftentimes, it simply comes down to your employer. According to Cisco's 2016 annual technology report, Facebook scams are the most common online attack methods for getting malware into an organization. And the easiest way to breach that is to have somebody log into Facebook at work on a company computer and then select one of these links. So with the social media site now a magnet for cyber criminals, how do you protect yourself? Well, you can start by locking down your Facebook privacy settings. And of course, think twice before releasing that personal info. After all, if you wouldn't do it in person, then definitely don't do it online. For 7 Action News, I'm Amira David.